Hey guys, welcome back to the homestead and behind me is our garage. And as a lot of you know, we lost our barn, all our animals, all our tractors, implements, my garage, everything to a fire last year in April, pretty devastating. Uh, but we have since rebuilt. The barn is built. Uh, we're just waiting to complete it this spring. Needed the dirt to settle to put in the floor and, and so on. But we are done with the garage. And this garage is a 40 by 28, uh, 16 and a 12 foot garage door, man door, windows. But I wanted to show you the shop. It's my little shop. I call it my man cave shop. And you'll see as we go in there. But uh, God has really blessed us and uh, restored a lot of what we lost. Um, so let's head on in and check it out. All right, guys. Well, this is the garage, and I'll give you a, a quick uh, 360 view of it, and then we'll go over what I did, why I did it. And uh, But it's just a really comfortable workspace, and, I, and I'll show you that. So here is the inside of the garage. I'll do kind of spin around here, try not to wiggle too much so you can see everything. But just turned out really, I just love it actually. <laughs> um, one of the things we did, which I love the looks of, and I almost didn't do it, was put this rough cut up for the walls. And this rough cut, the Amish crew that built my garage and barn here, he knew an Amish guy that had a sawmill and he got just an incredible deal on this uh, rough cut wood and just turned out really good. Love, love, love the looks of it. And we have actually entertained in here quite a bit. We've had a bunch of get together, birthday parties, just gathering with friends. Uh, it's, been, it's been wonderful uh, to have this kind of place you can come into. I also made the ceilings 10 foot high. I think with my old garage, they were about eight, a little over eight foot. And um, just really opened it up in here. And um, so this section here is kind of like where we, you know, uh, made it into kind of the man cave, I guess you could call it. But we have, like I said, we entertain, have some friends over. A lot of our friends have a lot of kids like us. So it's nice to have them run around in here if it's raining or if it's, you know, we've done, uh, we did like a thing around Christmas where we had a, a bunch of people up and we were able to sit out here and it was just, it was just awesome. So, um, and you know, I, the other thing is I made this workbench here. My old workbench was about, you know, dinner table height and I always hated it cause I always thought it was too low. So this one we made about 40 inches high and it's just a perfect height for me. Just absolutely perfect. And it's a nice thick workbench. We actually made this out of the, <laughs> the cross beams. Oh, I think it was that side. Yeah, over there, the header beam there. We had some left over, so we made the workbench out of that and uh, just turned out incredible. Um, also nice having a new floor. One of the things is when we purchased this, uh, the garage was probably over 23 years old. And the guy that before us that owned it just had a slab in here. There was no stress cuts in it like there is now. And it was starting to heave and crack uh, from our winters up here. But yeah, that was, that was nice to have a flat floor. Um, also, uh, we have high speed internet. We got it a few years ago. They brought it rurally where we live. And it was nice because we were one of the first roads. So we always struggled with internet here and we finally got high speed, but uh, the, they had a pod cause I asked them, how can I get some good internet on the garage? And they actually have these pods you plug in wires wirelessly and you can get internet. And of course I had to purchase a 55 inch TV. It was like at Walmart Roku and it was like actually approximately well, 198 bucks or something like that. But it's nice cause it's an internet TV and I love watching hunting shows as you can see. So I have a bunch of app, hunting apps on there and I watch shows on it. I think it's on Waypoint TV right now, but so I still have a ways to go with, you know, tools and stuff. Um, I've been picking a lot of stuff up as I need, you know, Harbor Freight's been my friend. I know a lot of you don't like Harbor Freight. I love Harbor Freight. Picked this Craftsman toolbox up for a killer deal because I had a dent on the bottom there. I don't know if you can see it there. There's a ding on the corner. So I offered them. 
I think I got it almost $200 less than they were asking for it because of that. So that was nice. And just slowly getting back, you know, it's going to take a long time. Got My wife bought me a smoker for Christmas. Uh, yeah, I had missed my smoker because I had lost that. But yeah, and the other thing I also changed was I used propane to heat as well. Um, before I just had a torpedo heater and I used to use diesel fuel in it. You always have to have a garage door cracked while you're out here. It kept it warm, but it was just, you know, smelled. I walk inside, I smell like diesel and it's nice having propane, a lot cleaner burning. Uh, this heater will keep it warm uh, in here if it's like 40 to 45 or above outside. If it's colder than that, I'll run the torpedo heater here for about 20 minutes, get it warmed up in here. And this will kind of maintain it. And periodically, you'll have to kick the torpedo heater on. The other thing I wanted to show you is I purchased this kit. It's a rapid air kit. And you can plug it right into your um, air compressor. And it's nice because it comes, you can put all these stations in your garage. And I ran it's this blue line. And it's nice because it runs over to your bench here. I ran it over to my bench here. And it's nice because you can have, you know, if you're working on something, you have, you have air. And it's just a really nice, <laughs> uh, I'll put a link to that actually in the description if it's something you guys are interested in. But really, really uh, nice little kit you can get relatively inexpensive as well but yeah there is the garage well hey there's a tour of the the new garage i appreciate you watching and uh yeah it's just a nice getaway nice workstation for me i edit all my own videos have my laptop i usually keep here on the workbench and it's also nice you know if i'm working on something can't figure something out i can jump online uh look up some directions or look up a youtube video and see how uh how to do it right but uh yeah, there it is. Very, very happy. Never thought I'd have a uh, workspace like this, you know, this nice. Uh, thankful that uh, uh, God has blessed me with it and wanted to share that with you as well. So God bless you all. Take care.